What's up everybody? It's Wednesday, which means it's time for another episode of Lab Coat Garage. In today's episode, we're going over the topic of what is orange peel. So here we have Joey. What's up guys? He's one of our product specialists and he's an ex-automotive painter. So he's gonna explain what it is and how to remove it. What's up guys? So a little bit of background story about myself is I started off in the body shop industry. I started off sweeping floors, you know, started sandy bumpers, started prepping, masking, stuff like that. Eventually I made myself up to that point where I would learn how to paint. And then I moved up to, you know, detailing, polishing, wet sanding, stuff like that. So I kind of know a little bit of everything in the body shop industry and how it goes. So today we want to go ahead and pretty much talk about what is orange peel, how it is, how do you get it and how to get rid of it. What causes orange peel? Orange peel can come from a variety of things. You know, it can be improper spray technique. You know, the settings on the fan of the gun may have been, you know, misplaced or maybe it was too wide or maybe they were just spraying too much product. Uh, what it could also be is maybe when they were spraying their second coat, they didn't allow enough time for the first coat to settle and now it's getting a lot of solvent pop, which is causing the clear coat to dry unevenly. So that's, you know, that's why you end up getting like that wavy look on your paint. Another reason for orange peel would be low pressure. So maybe when the sprayer, the painter was spraying it, the pressure on the gun was too low and it was causing it to kind of shoot the, you know, the paint or clear coat in a dry manner, which kind of creates kind of craters in the paint, which also is a reason for the, clear, uh, the orange peel. What could have also been is that the painter actually probably sprayed too much paint on there and it caused a very, very thick layer, which kind of creates an unleavened kind of like, you know, layer where it just kind of leaves it all blobby and stuff like that. It doesn't necessarily dry to the touch on the paint and it just ends up staying there wet. And then when you spray the clear coat on there, it just kind of doesn't dry and it has a lot of solvent pop and just, just messes up the finish entirely. Uh, another reason that it could be is that the spray nozzle that they're using to spray the paint with or the clear coat is too thin or too small and it actually causes it to kind of, you know, not cover as much as uh, coverage. And when they're spraying it, you know, when they overlap their painting, it doesn't very necessarily flow with the whole pattern of the panel and it ends up kind of creating this weird kind of like striping effect. All right, guys, so you guys heard me talk about it. And now for all my visual learners out there, we're going to go ahead and break down the paint diagram just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So right here, what we have is our paint diagram. You can see it's leveled in different, you know, coats of the paint. Uh, at the very bottom, you'll have your substrate, which can be many things. It can be, you know, the metal, it can be plastic, fiberglass, it can be a variety of things. Uh, secondly would be your primer, which would act as a netching layer for your paint, which would come afterwards, which would be your base coat. Your base coat is going to be the color of the paint. It can be, you know, the pearlescence that you have on there as well, whichever it is that it is. After the base coat, then that's when you have your clear coat. The clear coat is pretty much the thickest layer. We just went ahead and broke this down for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like. But the clear coat is always going to be the thickest layer because it's the hardest on the actual surface. So a lot of people are under the misconception that you can pretty much uh, polish down your orange peel with the machine, which in some cases it works and some it doesn't just because considering the fact that, you know, maybe if it was an aftermarket paint job that was, you know, done to the car, the clear coat, the orange peel may be a lot harder than what it is when you get from a factory clear coat. So how do we remove it? So there's two most common ways that we can do it. One would be the whole, you know, wet sanding method, which considers getting some sandpaper, sanding down the surface, kind of like so right here. You'll sand it down pretty much to a layer where it's just all even and uniform, which allows you to just go ahead and polish it out so that you can get, you know, a bright, wet look instead of having that orange peel effect. If the orange peel is not that bad, then you can simply just go ahead and get your polisher, get a rubbing compound and a cutting pad and you can simply polish it right out. So once you're done polishing it out, all your orange peel, now you can move on to your favorite, you know, step of the detailing process where it comes to, you know, glazing, sealing and waxing your paint so that you protect your paint after all the work that you've done and put into it so it doesn't just go to waste. So now you guys know what orange peel is, what causes it and how to get rid of it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you comment down below what you guys would like to see next week on the Labco Garage.